Now, when a CL12 is not connected to a 688, there is no access to a new CL12 menu. You can see it's grayed out there. Now, as soon as I plug in my CL12, we will gain access to that CL12 menu. There it is. Let's have a look inside. Various menus here pertain to the CL12. The first menu, L through X2 level controls, allows you to set these pots to control either physical output level or track level for LR through X1 and X2. The next menu down, L through X2 metering. Again, the meters can be configured to meter the output level or the track level. EQ menu has a whole range of features pertaining to setting up your EQ. More on that later. Then we have three uh, menus, user button one to user button three, to allow you to customize the, the U1 to U3 buttons on the CL12. And there's a myriad of different features and menu access you can program for these buttons. So you can really customize the CL12 to your personal taste. And then we have a menu called LED brightness for adjusting the level of the LEDs on the CL12. And at the bottom, a feature called SEL follows PFL. More on that later.